we are feeling the impact right now of Ian right here at home, specifically for beachgoers. The National Weather Service is warning, though, that waves may be higher than eight feet over the next couple of days. As our Iran Hammy reports, some are seeing this as a rare chance to catch a big wave. We wanted to catch some gnarly waves. Um, they were actually pretty nice, pretty big. Surf's up for Wolfgang Gobaderis and his teammates on the Corpus Christi ice race. They have their boogie boards and are taking advantage of the larger than usual waves rolling in due to a surge from Hurricane Ian in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. We actually came out here like two days ago. Um, you know, not many junior hockey teams are going to be able to get the chance to use the beach. So um, we're going to be soaking it up and enjoying it every second we can. The city of Corpus Christi warns that the surge will flood beaches, possibly up to the dunes. It didn't stop dozens more to get on the water before conditions get worse. Matt Kreft says as the afternoon went on, the waves got increasingly better for him to kite surf. He enjoys when the storms are far away and provide a surge. Right now, the uh, the uh, intervals are, aren't there yet, but I like when there's uh, more space between the waves. They're more powerful. Even while enjoying the unusual conditions, you can't forget why it's happening. Govadera says his family recently moved to Florida and his family is currently in the middle of Hurricane Ian. House is like, I would say the whole garage is halfway like flooded. So I think pretty sure we lost a car, but I don't think we're going to lose too much else. So we're pretty fortunate. The city is reminding people waves could get anywhere between 8 feet and 12 feet and the risk for rip currents will be higher through the end of the week. Those inexperienced swimmers should use extreme caution going into the water. Reporting on Padre Island, Ron Hammy, Chris 6 News.